Hey everyone, day 92 on the Abolition Trail, and I am so happy that you guys are with me. Uh, I can't tell you how motivating it is. I am in the 100 Miles of Wilderness. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, but it really should be the 100 Miles of Falls and Ankle Twists, because I seem to be doing that a lot. Uh, I've been off the trail already a little bit this morning. No big deal. Uh, it just goes back to my pet peeve of marking the trail, but... Um, I'll be over that in a minute. Uh, I haven't had breakfast yet, which probably is another reason I'm a little bit irritated this morning. Uh, I only had enough water last night when I stopped because I was uh, stealth camping, which I do often, but I tried to... Well, uh, I hope you guys got that. So I'm just going to sit here and finish my video. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm going to continue walking. Um, yeah, that happens quite a bit. Ugh. All right. Finally glad I got it on camera because that was a decent one. Um, I'm going to come up to this nice view here in a moment. Um, I forgot what I was saying because it really doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. There we go. That's my nice view. All right. I'm going to go find myself on the trail because, as always, this big thing is marked not very well. So I'm going to go find myself on the trail. I'm going to get some water, and I'm going to get my day moving. I'm going to stealth camp again tonight because I really enjoy stealth camping. Um, I find I like the solitude a little bit better than shelters. I've been here. I just walked in a circle. Mother scratcher. Okay, now I'm now I'm pretty upset. All right, I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go hike. All right, I love you guys. Hey friends, it's uh, still day ninety-two. Um, I just came from a water source so I'm all watered up and I have uh, breakfast I got some tea um, I feel a lot better so hopefully this isn't a bad day I mean when my first bad day was at 53 and then my second bad day was like at 72 or something like that um, something like that I'm not really sure but um, I'm not looking for a third bad day on the trail. The wilderness is a little slow going because all of these tree roots, and if you step on them or you step on a slippery rock, well, you saw what happened. So it's happened more than I care to admit. But there's a nice little pond down there. Got the sun peeking out. Oh, it's peeking out up there through the trees. It looks nice, but I'm going to go because I feel a lot better and I just need to uh, kick ass in my day. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Okay, so this beautiful river is my next crossing, and I am not even messing with walking up and down it to find um, a place to cross. I'm just going to take my shoes off, socks off, put them in my bag, and walk across and be done with it. Uh, on the other side, I'll let my feet dry out for a moment, drink a bunch of water, get new water via the river, and then move out. This is just this really cool little walkway in the middle of nowhere. It was, uh, it was very nice. And it just grabbed my eye and I had to get a video of it. I think, so the next peak that I have coming up here in about a mile is where you can first see Mount Katahdin. Um, it's pretty overcast, so I don't know that I will see it, but I can't go around it, so I gotta go, I gotta go up and check it out anyway. Um, hopefully I can, and it's a pretty good, it's a pretty steep up, but when that is on the, when I'm, when I'm done, 
then I won't have another big up for quite some time. Tomorrow's supposed to be a pretty flat day, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, I've come to the realization that the 100 Mile Wilderness is a compilation of the entire trail. It's got the mud from Vermont. It's got the elevations, uh, the steep ones and the rocky ones from New Hampshire, the Whites. It's got the greenery from the Smokies. Um, it's got regular rocks from Pennsylvania. Uh, I even heard what I assumed to be a rattlesnake today, and the only place that I heard those was in Pennsylvania. So, uh, yeah, this, uh, so far, it is just one big compilation of the entire trail. So I guess, I mean, you could really just do 100 mile, 100 mile trail and Mount Katahdin and go, yep, done. Uh, which I wish I would have known because I certainly would have done that. All right. I just wanted to share that little, um, that little piece, uh, of, uh, rock walk, uh, was just really pretty. It caught my eye. All right. So right out there is Mount Katahdin, but you can't see it because of the weather. But on a normal day, you can. So I'm heading off of the mountain. Uh, where I just was at. I want to say it's the giant bald, the snow bald, the peak bald. I don't really know. But I'm on the way down. And I saw it. Oh, yeah. I saw Mount Katahdin. <sighs> and I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to summit on Sunday. Um, I got about five more miles to my shelter or to where I'm stopping tonight. Uh, and then I got, I should be able to post some decent miles uh, tomorrow. Because um, there's no more up for a while. So Oh, it says viewpoint. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, yeah, it's pretty. Oh, there it is. That's Mount Katahdin right there. All right. So, um, just going to uh, try to get as many miles in as I can tomorrow and the day after. And if I get to... Uh, the, uh, the base, uh, in the afternoon, they won't let me summit and they'll have to wait till Monday, but Monday's Labor Day. And so I'm told that it's closed. So I'll have to wait until Tuesday. Uh, not a big deal. doesn't change my hiking days. It'll still be whatever it is. It'll be one more, uh, because I wouldn't have been able to go on Sunday. Um, but I'm not going to, because of that, I'm not going to, I'm not going to pull back on the throttle and I'm still going to keep going. Uh, but that's really cool right there. All right. Um, I had good mileage today. Not great mileage, but good mileage. Uh, somewhere like 25 miles. Uh, I prefer a couple more, but that's just how it is. Um, I think, yeah, I'll just do that. Hmm. Um, but, uh, I will, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and I think I'm just going to end up just posting one of these every day after I summit and I have service. Um, or if I have to hold up in that little town for one day uh, because it's Labor Day, then I'll just post them all in, on that one day, and then the next day will be the grand finale. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for being here. No kid deserves cancer, and no donations too small. Thank you. Hey, y'all. Um, so I am racing the sun. And I'm loving it. Um, you can see in the background this beautiful, beautiful sunset. That's about to take place. I am one mile from uh, the shelter. 
Today was a shit to sugar day, 100%. Um, I totally turned it around. Uh, I quit. Fe- I quit feeling sorry for myself, and I uh, just started moving out. But I have finished the chair backs. They're done, uh, and they were they were um, pretty challenging. So, um, not humbled by them, challenged by them. That's what happened. Uh, And so as you can see, I'm moving as out as fast as I can. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh, so beautiful. But I can't get caught in the dark. Um, Tomorrow I hope to post some really, really good miles. Um, I'm gonna push really hard tomorrow. And, yeah, yeah, that's it. I've got about eight tenths of a mile left to go until I hit my shelter. And I'm just gonna set up a tent, make some dinner. Uh, so I was I was at a shelter. Uh, there's there's one three and a half miles back. And I pulled into that one just to get some water and that great, great stream water. It was so tasty. Uh, but I got two liters, put Gatorade in one of them, and then the other's dirty water. I have to clean it still. But that dirty water is going to be tonight's dinner and tomorrow's breakfast. So uh, that's not not too big of a deal. And I'm told that there's good water at this shelter as well. So um, I'm going to drink quite a bit tonight. Um, probably that entire liter of Gatorade and then the half a liter for dinner and then the other half a liter for tomorrow. And then uh, before I leave the shelter, I will put um, oof, one clean liter and one dirty liter of water that I'll carry out. And then I'm going to just get after it. All right. I got to continue to move. Um, oh, yeah, that mile was three, three and a half. That shelter was three and a half miles back. And the people there were like, oh, is that a ukulele? I said, oh, yes, it is. So I played them a song real quick, and they're like, oh, you're, are you not staying here tonight, friend? And I'm like, oh, no, I'm going to the next shelter. And they're like, oh, you're not going to make it. It's going to be dark. And I said, well, we'll see. Um, so we'll see. Anyway, um, I'm kind of digging this. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm deep, deep in it now. So, all right, I will talk to you guys uh, tomorrow. Uh, no kid deserves cancer. No donations too small. Give up some love. And uh, yeah, good night Appalachian Trail.